In this problem, we're told to express the following angles in radians. And so we have 45 degrees, 60 degrees, uh, 90 degrees, 360 degrees, and 445 degrees. And we're supposed to give it as numerical values and a as a fractions of pi. So how do we go about doing this? So if you have something in degrees, in order to get it into uh, radians, what you want to do is multiply it by 2 pi over 360. So if you have something in degrees, just multiply by 2 pi over 360, and you'll get it in radians. And the reason this is is because this will be radians, right? And then this is degrees. And you guys should know that if you go around a whole circle, it's 360 degrees. Or we could say it's 2 pi radians. But yeah, so essentially all you got to do is multiply by 2 pi over 360, and you'll get it in radians. But they want, to, uh, they want it in both numerical value and as fractions of pi. So let's go ahead and do this. So 45, and then we multiply by 2 pi over 360. 45 times 2 would be 90. So you can just rewrite this as 90 pi over 360. And then we just simplify. So divide both my 90. This would just become 1 at top, and then this is 4. So essentially, in fraction form, it's pi over 4 radians. Uh, but then we also want to rewrite it as um, numerical value. So this is as a fraction of pi, so pi over 4 radians. And then we want to rewrite it as a decimal. So you just want to plug it in your calculator. So just do pi divided by 4 and you'll get 0.785, uh, 3, 9, and so on. I'm just going to round to 0.785, so 0.785 radians. But yeah, so this right here is A, so let's move on to B. So I'm going to go a bit faster, so 60, and then multiply by 2 pi over 360. 2 times 60 is 120, so 120 pi over 360. If we divide both by 120, this is going to be 1, this is going to be 3, so it's just pi over 3 radians. And if you're, if you're familiar with the unit circle, you should know this, but uh, you probably learned this back in pre-cal, but yeah. So pi over 3 radians, and then just go ahead and plug it in your calculator and divide by 3. So pi over 3, it's going to be 1.047. So I'm just going to round to 1.05, and then radians. So 90, uh, 90 times multiplied by 2 pi over 360. This is going to be 180 pi over 360 which is just going to be pi over 2, right? Divide both by 180. So pi over 2 radians, and then plug this in your calculator. 1.5707. I'm just going to round to 1.57. So 1 1.57 radians. 360, 360 times 2 pi over 360. Notice that these just cancel, so you're just going to get 2 pi. Right, so it's going to be 2 pi radians. And then... Do 2 times pi, you're going to get 6.2831. I'm just going to round to 6.283 radians. Now let's do 445. So 445 times 2 pi over 360. So if you go ahead and do this, right, so do 2 times 445. You'll get 890 pi over 360. Yeah, I did that right. And then uh, what you can do is divide both, the, both of these by 10. So just make it 89 pi over 36. We just divide both by 10. So 89 pi over 36, this is the part that you can simplify it. So 89 pi over 36 radians, which is equal to, if you plug this in your calculator, 7.7667. I'm just going to round to 7.77 though. So 7.77 radians. But yeah, so these are going to be your values in fractional form, all of these. And then these are in uh, numerical, right? So decimal form. But yeah, hopefully you found this useful.